Hi, Jingqi. My name is Yining Gao, and I'm going to walk you through this session today. Before we begin, I have some information for you, and I'm going to read it, make sure that I cover everything. The first thing I want to make clear right away is that we are testing the champion website. You can't do anything wrong here. In fact, this is probably the one place today where you don't have to worry about making mistakes. As you use this website, I'm going to ask you as much as possible to try to think aloud. To say what you are looking at, what you are trying to do, and what you are thinking, it will be a big help to us. Also, please don't don't worry that you are going to hurt our feelings. We are doing this to improve this website, so we need to hear your honest reactions. If you would, I'm going to ask your permission for recording your reaction during this interview. Would you agree or not? Yes, I would agree. So before we started, I want to introduce to you Champion a little bit. So the Champion is an American manufacturer of clothing. This brand is founded as 1990, 1990 years ago. There is 34 stores around the United States, and the area service is North America, Europe, and Asia. The main products of Champion are clothing, sportswear, and footwear. So this is the Champion official website, and this is the home pages of it. So could you please give me your thoughts about you about this home page when you? Look <coughs> yeah, sure. Um. I think the overall homepage uh, is good, but I um, I don't like the main picture um, at the top. Um, since I think it is not attractive to me, uh, compares to mm -hmm. the like Nike or uh, Adidas, and I feel like the there's a bunch of uh, pictures in here. They should be more uh, organized. Okay. So during this interview, there will be three scenarios. The first one is search a product. The second one is adding an item into your shopping cart. The third one is create an account. So for the first step, you should search a product in this champion website. What products would you prefer to search? Um. So maybe I would uh, purchase a hoodie and I will go to the main section and click on the hoodie essence red shirts. And then I will go through all the clothes at first. This one. Um. Uh, I saw there is a pages a little bit stuck here. Uh, do you, what do you confuse about? Um, I feel like um after I click like go back to the the main pages. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, like it should be show like the close um like when I um when I click but it goes to the very top of the pages so I think um it's not very user friendly like it should be uh, on the on the one like you you just click before and then you can just like go scroll down but if you go like it automatically like shows on the top of the page like um, you have to scroll down again yeah okay so for our second scenario is to add one items into shopping carts so what products would you like to add into your shopping cart okay um
So, so I saw you click on the pants. So you want to find the pants? Yeah. I think this one looks good. And then um, I will choose the granite teeter for the color and the XL for the size. And I will click Add to Cart. And view shopping cart. Okay, so now we are <coughs> to the shopping cart pages. Uh, what do you think about these pages? Um, I think this page is um looks pretty good, and it has like the nice table to like has the to show different things like the um item description and status and quantity, and also it has like like the big red for the secure checkout is very clear for the customers to to click. So I think it's pretty good. Um, oh, I saw you click on the plus button. So you want to add one more products here? Yeah, but I don't know why. Like the the price is still the same. Like after I update, uh, like I add one more pants, it should be like um forty dollars more, but stays at the same. So so there is a updated quality quantity buttons here, so perhaps click it, it will be changed. Hmm. I think like, um, it's pretty, I think it's pretty weird, it seems like, like, I feel like if you just like add mo one more pants, like it should, the price should automatically like be like up bit after, like it should be already at the price to the the subtotal but I in this website I feel like it's it's kind of weird seems like I already add one more pants but the price is still the same and I have to do my to do manually like update quantity so I don't know why like I don't feel like this function is like like good enough so you don't think this website this part of the website is well function right yeah okay so after we add things into our shopping carts we want to secure check out it mm -hmm. so when i click on the secure checkout it pops up like uh, to ask me to sign in or check out as guest and I feel like I maybe I would purchase like champion like in the future, so I maybe want to create a new account. But so you said you want to create a new account, but there actually yeah. there is no create a new account buttons here. Yeah. So we need to find it in other places in these web pages. Mm, it's on the very top of the home page. Yes. There is a small quit account button at the right top right corner. So what do you think about this action? Um, I also feel like this function is kind of um, weird. It seems like if you are new customers, there should be a like create account on the like sign section since you are new, and like you don't have an account, so you need to like create a new account. But like in this sign section, it's only like ask you to sign in and also like forgot password but they don't have a like create a new account so i feel like they should add like the create account under like the forgot password like to let customers to create a new account like more easily so you don't like this part right yeah so do you think this is a usability issue yeah i think so so how about you create a account right now okay yeah
So I will type my information. So you already finished all the steps of create account. So when you type in your information, your email address and password in the text box, what problem do have you find during this process? Um, I just like realized that like there's one thing maybe I want to mention is the like. Usually in the like the website, usually um, um, do the shopping. Like they have the zip code on the very uh, first, and if you um, first do the zip code, uh, the city and the state will automatically like fill up. Uh, so you don't need to like choose and type the the name of the city by yourself. Um, but in this one, like the order is kind of weird, so it's like you have to type the city, state, and zip code, like all by yourself. So I feel like it's kind, of, it's not very uh, user friendly. Okay, is there any problems that you made in, or good things you made in this part of the in this <coughs> process of creating an account? Um, I think the password constraint is uh is pretty good since like. Uh, many websites don't have like the the constraint like you can just create whatever you want for the password but sometimes it's not like quite safe uh, since like customers always want to create like a new um, want to create an easy one for the password so sometimes it's not pretty safe for them so I mean this website has the like you have to do uh, at least one number and one letter so which would allow like customers to secure their account. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we finish our all the steps of this these three scenarios. So let me just conclude it a little bit. So we have been through three scenario. For the first scenario, search your products, the gentry missed a problem that the when we click on the, when we want to go back to the hoodie sweatshirt, sweatshirt pages the the web pages will automatically go back to the very top of the page so if we we want to look through look continuously to the next hoodies we need to scroll down a little bit find the the hoodie we want to look if we repeat this action again and again so it's not very convenient for a, the users to like shopping so it will be it will cause a bad shopping experience so for the second scenarios we so for the second scenarios we add a we add a item into the shopping carts the problems we meet in the second in the second scenarios is that we want if we want to add one more items, one more same items. We need to add first click the plus button, and then we need to click the. There is a button below. Say that update the quantity. So we need to. There is two steps we needed to if we want to add a quant one more items it's not very convenient for users to purchase and if users miss these steps they might just buy one or buy two so by mistakes so I think this 
is also a big usability issue. So for the third scenario, we want to create an account. So but we, if the user click the secu the new users click the secure checkout, it will go to the bottom. There is three options for users: the checkout with PayPal, checkout with as a guest, and sign in. But there is no option for to create account. If new user want to create an account, he or she need to find the very small create account button at the top corner in these web pages. So, which means it's not very convenient for users to, if for new users to create account. And then we also find a, like a problems, usability problems when we type the things inside in the create account pages. That for other pre, for other website, there is an option to enter the zip code first, and then the the website will automatically turn turn off the turn on the city's names and the state's names. So in these web pages, the users need to type the city, type the states manually. But there is still a good thing that the changes like about these pages is that when there is a password requirement here, say that there is minimum of eight characters with at least one number and one letters. So this constraint is very clear is put at the top of the password text box so when the user typing their password here they know that the requirement it is the the so it's or it's not only protect the user's account but also like provide a very effective constraints for users Overall, this champion web pages is uh, is good, but there still have some usability issues that need to fixed.